Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X, Part 13. Good luck! I'm Ritz Blues, and this is Sigma Stage 3. Time to face off with the secret agent music and the vast majority of the remaining uh, Mavericks as we plow on through the remainder of Sigma's fortress. Another boss here. Armored Armadillo, which will counter with Spark Mandrel Sparks. Ugh, oh, that never gets old. Tricky fight without Spark Mandrel. Really, really easy with it. Alright. So, Sigma Stage 3 is pretty basic. Pretty much uh, short jaunt through mild traps, fairly uninspired level design. Easy to farm enemies. If I wanted to, I could sit here and farm them over and over, but I don't want to. Alright, back to full. Moving on to our next boss in the gauntlet. Spike ceiling makes it pretty clear we're fighting Sting Chameleon. Let's see if we can fight him without having to walk any further than the middle of the room. Pretty basic. Goodbye. Moving right along. Now we could continue to use the boomerang attacks to get those, but Considering all it would do is refill the boomerang unless I pause it and do annoying things. I'm just going to ignore it. Alright. Let's get flashy! Ah, man, my timing's way off on this. There we go. Much better! Ouch! Not quite. Oh well. I kind of deserve that, considering how easy it is to beat in the first place. Another gauntlet down. Let's go deeper! Bet you can't guess who's next! I'll give you a hint. It's not Flame Mammoth. Speaking of which, interesting little factoid, a <laughs> mammoth's attacks do not work underwater. Just thought I'd point that out. Alright, on to Octopus. The nice thing about the Sigma stage repeats is you do have the boss weaknesses for every boss in the game at this point, so luckily you got that going for you. Unfortunately, they're still just as annoying to fight with the weaknesses as they were the first time. So if they were annoying to fight, they're still annoying to fight. Although I do want to show this off. Come on. Ha ha! <laughs> uh, that was worth it. 
He looks so funny without his arms. He has no arms. Without his uh, tentacles, his attacks become much more limited. He becomes somewhat bearable. But... It doesn't really matter, because he's still annoying to fight, even without his arms. He just goes faster, because he can't use that tornado attack. Now, I could zip across the top there on my ice skateboard, but I think I won't. Instead, I will sneak through the way I always do. The wimpy way. This is almost as wimpy as uh, the other method. Now, you would think with all those lasers, this is where they put Boomer Kawunga, but nope. Nope. We gotta fight Flame Mammoth. Man, that rumble lasts a long time. A really long time. Alright. Almost done with that. Yes, turn that conveyor belt the other way. Just as easy as it was the first time. And one more should do it. I'm actually surprised that that charged version of the attack wasn't very useful. Sigma Stage 3's boss. So this contraction has two different body portions. A headpiece and a body piece. It's weak against the boomer cutter. And it'll try and shoot you with that electric ball there or smash you in the middle. Now I might actually go ahead and decide to use a sub-tank here just so that I don't out and out lose this fight. And that's it. I'm out of that weapon energy. And that's annoying. Alright. Kinda wish I'd actually taken the time to refill Boomer Kalunger's energy, but it's okay. Man. Tough fight. Gonna have to use another one. Lesson learned, always be prepared. Go ahead and just use two of those. Set it back. It should be okay if I just... Got him. Man, that slam is annoying. One more hit. Got it. All right. Whew. That was fun. Nice long gauntlet. Cost me all my energy tanks. Luckily, I'll be able to easily farm some energy back up in the next stage. All right. So that was Sigma Stage 3. Just a lot of tough boss fights. The stage itself isn't too particularly difficult. And this is it. We only have one more level to go, and the last set of uh, boss fights. Sigma is next, stage four. Next time on Let's Play Mega Man X, it's time to bring the game to a close. This is Rich Blues, and thanks for watching.